So we need fluids for maintaining your uh, minimal requirement of fluids for renal function. We need the fluids to serve as a vehicle to deliver our nutrients and we need fluids to maintain our homeostasis which is the cellular level electrolyte balance and the osmolarity maintenance. So most of our action potentials in the cellular level depends on appropriate balance of fluid and electrolytes. There is a normal postnatal transition which happens in all babies both term and premature. The fetus has 80 to 90 percent body weight as water and this is what is reflected in the premature babies and uh, 40 to 55 percent of this is extracellular. When we say extracellular it includes the vascular as well as the interstitial compartments and the intracellular fluid is 25 to 35 percent it's more in the term babies. A term baby has 75 percent of the body weight as water and 40 percent is extracellular and 35 percent is intracellular. In both term and premature babies, there is a significant contraction of the extracellular fluid. This is mostly in the interstitial compartment and uh, there is a 7 to 15 percent weight loss from this fluid loss. It's 7 to 10 percent in the term babies and it is 10 to 15 percent in the premature babies. To some extent, this contraction of the extracellular fluid compartment is important because it helps in the maturation of body functions. The main thing is the renal maturation. So if this transition is delayed, you may see that the fractional excretion of sodium doesn't mature as it should and uh, the ability to concentrate uh, urine is also limited. Autonomic function maturation also is related to this fluid balance uh, maturation.